Which of the following do you think is the worst mother in the animal kingdom? Number 8. Skinks. Lizards aren't noted generally for their affectionate mothering, but even among this rather cold-hearted and cold-blooded group, the long-tailed skink has to take the prize for the worst mom. Should mommy skink happen to lay her eggs when there are lots PF predators in the area, then she will simply eat her young before they even have a chance to hatch. Experts say that this is because she is trying to save both her young from the worst fate of being eaten by predators later, as well as restoring her own strength so she can have another go at breeding, at a more fortuitous time and place. Number 7. Burying Beetles. Every mother will know the feeling of being pestered, whether the child wants a particular toy, doesn't want to go to bed or just can't bear to be out of sight for a few minutes, most moms rarely get a minute's peace. Burying beetles, have an interesting approach to those of their offspring who pester too much, they eat them. Researchers, have come to the conclusion that burying beetle mothers kill the young who beg too much, as those who only ask for food when they are really hungry are stronger, and are therefore much more likely to survive to adulthood. Number 6. Black Eagles. The Black Eagle mother often demons trot as the ultimate in hands-off parenting, even going so far, as to allow one of her chicks to kill the other without interfering in the slightest. The nest-based squabbles are common among eagles, and mom will happily sit back, and let them get on with it, even when the stronger sibling goes as far as to kill their weaker brother or sister. Stepping to stop the fight, might seem like the motherly thing to do, but she would only be saving a weaker bird, one far less likely to survive than its much tougher and more aggressive nest mate. Number 5. Panda. Everyone loves pandas, especially their adorable little babies. Everyone, it seems, except mother pandas themselves. Pandas, which are well known for having difficulties in breeding, will usually have two cubs, but mom will only ever raise one, leaving the weaker sibling to die. Of course, this is yet another example of the female panda prioritizing her resources, and giving the stronger cub the best possible chance of survival. These days, panda breeding centers make sure that all their cubs survive regardless of whether mom is paying attention or not, but things were very different for panda families in the wild. Number 4. House Sparrow. The house sparrow is a perfectly good mom to its own chicks. It is actually the babies of other sparrows that have to watch out. Breeding time for sparrows is like something out of Jerry Springer, with mother sparrows making it their mission to get back at any other sparrows who have mated with the father of their chicks. After all, they want daddy to devote all his time and attention to her babies, not somebody else's. In order to ensure this happens, sparrows will often attack the nests of other birds, destroying eggs and even killing birds, all to make sure their mate comes home at night. Number 3. Black Bears. The old line about never getting between a mother bear and her cubs doesn't always apply to black bears. In fact, sometimes female black bears will go so far as to get rid of one of their cubs themselves, if they come to the conclusion that the baby is too weak to survive, or if they are struggling to raise two or sometimes three cubs, without putting themselves in danger. Once the favored cub has been chosen, however, black bear moms are fiercely protective parents. You just don't want to be the run of the litter in this particular species. Number 2. Harp Seals. Baby harp seals, also known as pups, spend a very confusing first two weeks on the planet. When they are first born, mom couldn't be more attentive, feeding her pup every day on high-fat milk that helps them build up the protective layers they are going to need to survive the icy temperatures in the North Atlantic. However, after 12 or 14 days, all this love and attention abruptly disappears. The pups are weaned almost overnight, and are pretty much expected to fend for themselves from then on, with many female harp seals putting themselves straight back on the motherhood market. Number 1. Cuckoo. And then we come to the cuckoo the undisputed queen of absent parenting, and truly one of the worst moms in the animal kingdom. Not only does this sneaky bird lay its eggs in the nests of other birds, forcing them to do the hard work of hatching the chick, but they don't even come back to see the fruit of their womb when it has hatched, leaving all the work of rearing the chick to whichever bird they dump their egg on in the first place. If children's service existed in the bird world, you could be sure they'd want a word with cuckoo moms. Thank you for watching, if you like this type of content, please leave a like, comment and subscribe to make the algorithm god happy.